Hello friends. It's me yet again. My name is Tanner Guse and this is uh, my latest uh, creation. It's a geodesic dome. I've built it out of uh, toothpicks. Uh, hopefully you can see that it's uh, kind of an interesting structure. Uh, yeah, so it's based on uh, uh, Buckmeister, Buckmeister Fuller's uh, design. And, you know, to simplify, or just to make this easier to understand, uh, his design is really just, um, I would say it's just a glorified uh, one of these things, a penta, pentahedron or or something like that. Um, I made one of these in elementary school when I was about 10 years old. Maybe some of you have too. It's very easy to make. It's, uh, you know, very easy. So, yeah, so uh, what, um, what Fuller did is he just kind of created um, a glorified version of the same thing. Like he just, the first thing he did uh, was to take this form and really this internal part here, this um, part here shouldn't be in there. I just added that because I wanted a measurement as to um, a certain angle, which isn't important. But uh, anyways, what uh, Fuller did is he just curved this structure like to fit inside a sphere. Like if you imagine a sphere, like if this was inside a sphere and you bent all of these popsicle sticks. I have uh, something that I used. Uh, yeah, see, so if you just made uh, this thing into a perfect circle, uh, you can get the curvature of uh, the popsicle sticks. So what I did, <clears throat> what I did, uh, if you see on this paper here, I just drew um, a circle with an 18 inch diameter and uh, you know this is um, half of the, uh, the circle and so um, what I did for the uh, for the corners of the top of the, um, we'll call it a pentahedron, hedron for lack of a better term. For each corner, I measured it out to 60 degrees. Uh, you know, from the center, 60 degrees. I wrote it out here. That's sort of just an estimate. Like I'm not entirely sure if that's accurate, but I'm pretty sure like, because if it wasn't accurate, this uh, this dome wouldn't be uh, as perfect as it is. This is just the top of the the dome. I might finish it, but uh, yeah. Anyways, the point, uh, like the reason, the reason I'm talking about all this is that this structure. Uh, the geodesic dome is incredibly easy to make and incredibly cheap when compared to the houses that everybody lives in now, the conventional houses, which are cubes. Uh, yeah, this thing is way cheaper to make. I'll refer now to Buckmeister Fuller's actual patent this is a patent uh, that he has see uh, 
sorry, just uh, bear with me here. This one is more complicated than the dome that I made, but anyways, in this part right here, he says, uh, a good index to the performance of any building frame is the structural structural weight required to shelter a square foot of floor from the weather. In conventional wall and roof designs, the figure is often 50 pounds to the square foot. I have discovered how to do the job at around 0.78 pounds per square foot. So, what he's saying is that a conventional house the box uh, cube houses that everybody lives in all across the world. What he's saying is that this geodesic dome is costs uh, less than one fiftieth as much. So, you know, people waste their entire lives paying for a house when, in reality, if they had if they lived in, in a in a dome. If they lived in a dome, they could pay it off in one fiftieth the time. So, you know, say they buy a house for half a million. You know, what's uh, what's one fiftieth of half a million? That's uh, what is that? Ten, ten thousand uh, dollars? Geez, what is is that correct? Um, Something like that, whatever. The point is that, you know, you could pay your mortgage off in five years or less if you just lived in a dome because it's so cheap to construct and it's extremely strong. Like this thing is incredibly strong, incredibly cheap and incredibly efficient. And not only that, but cubes are depressing. Cubes are not natural. Like in nature, you don't see straight lines. You don't see cubes you see curves, you see uh, hexagonal structures, which you can actually see right here. <laughs> Nature likes to flow, like rivers and things form natural flow lines. You know, water likes to spin down a drain, on and on. People are the same. People, their aura is round. It, it likes, uh, you know, the sphere is conducive to the life force. It promotes the life force energy. Whereas a cube stifles uh, the life force energy, it, it promotes stagnation, it creates a feeling of imprisonment, which is one of the reasons I think that we all live in these cube houses. Because, uh, you know, they promote uh, the feeling of imprisonment and control. And they cost a hell of a lot more than these things. And that's why this is a conspiracy. Buckmeister Fuller was shut down. He was prevented uh, from mass producing his uh, his homes. Like, you know, the bankers make so much money off people building these expensive uh, prison homes. They don't want a cheap alternative. They don't like prefabricated cheap houses. They don't want you to, you know, to interfere with their wallets, their pocketbooks. And uh, Buckmeister Fuller's geodesic domes does just that. Yeah, so uh, that's it. That's my rant uh, for today. I hopefully uh, this camera recorded everything really well. And um, there's more I have to say, but I forget what it is now. Uh, yeah, it's cheaper, um, promotes holistic uh, enlightenment or whatever. And uh, and you should live in a geodesic dome. You know, this is the future. This is what we're all going to be moving into eventually. This is why the humanoid alien races always build domes. They build uh, domes because they're efficient and because... Um, they uplift people, they inspire people to higher lengths. They, the form itself is conducive to energy, to flow. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's what I want to live in. 
in eventually once everything uh, once our world changes a little more and um, yeah I guess that's about it um, I think there's more I have to say but I can't remember it for some reason maybe the reptilians are like mind controlling me so I can't remember what I'm supposed to say or something like that <laughs> but whatever okay you guys uh, under you get the drift and um, yeah let me just show you this awesome contraption which is very easy to make and uh, you know the patents are freely available online this is made out of toothpicks and uh, a glue gun you know, toothpicks you can buy for like a couple bucks. Glue gun, this one was about 20 bucks. You know, just imagine the possibilities. Like you could, you could buy a bunch of two by fours and build a giant dome like on your land. If you had a big chunk of land, you know, you could create this yourself and it would be very easy. And for all intents and purposes, it would be superior to your current home. And you know you could uh, you could have this with windows like maybe not all of it but have maybe half of it with windows and if you're rich you could use um, LCD windows that could tint you know on command you could just push a button and they would tint over and uh, you know it'd be awesome <laughs> or you could have greenhouses like this connected. You know, you could have multiple domes interconnected, sort of like, um, like, like that biosphere they tried to create uh, somewhere. But yeah, anyways, I'm starting to ramble, so I'll see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, may the force be with you. Bye. Hello, friends. Yeah. Uh, I just wanted to say hi, and uh, and that was it. <laughs> I just wanted to show my face uh, with my latest video of the uh, geodesic uh, dome. For no other reason than to self-promote myself. Although, I'm not really selling anything. And I don't really want your money, although that would be nice, but uh, it's not necessary. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to help people uh, because uh, we're all in this together and, uh, you know, we're all in this prison uh, together is really uh, what I should say. And things are changing, luckily. Uh, 